Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's similar to Judo and wrestling. So you start standing up and then you take the opponent to the floor. And that you'd use Judo takedowns or wrestling takedowns. Kind of grappling and wrestling for a dominant position. Um, Alexandra Ross, I am a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter. I was an athlete my whole life. I played soccer, basketball, and I ran track. The owner of the establishment wanted more females to do jiu-jitsu because it's really um, important and really good for females in particular because most of the time they're smaller than the males, so it's good self-defense because um, the whole aspect of the sport is the smaller opponent beating the bigger opponent. So he wanted more females to do it and gain a, like a, a woman's only class male sports of every sport was more popular, like um, the male soccer team or like the basketball teams, those were more popular. And yes, I could have learned from them because it, the sport is a sport. I don't, I don't think it makes a difference whether a male or female is doing it. Um, I actually really did just focus on the females because it was cool seeing another girl do it or another female. In 1999, the women's team won the World Cup. The documentary on Mia Hamm and like all the girls and I watched that like religiously when I was younger. So Mia Hamm was definitely my idol. Actually, I was forced to do jiu-jitsu. I actually hated it in the beginning. I would forget my uniform on purpose. <laughs> I'd be like, sorry, like I have to do homework or I don't want to take class. But then um, I went to one of the promotions and there's something like about like seeing them graduate and get promoted. I was like really inspired. I was like, if they could do it, I can do it. So I pushed myself and went to class the next week and then just nonstop ever since. If you look up online, like women's soccer players or anything like that, they're always commenting on like, oh, like that's, instead of saying, oh, that soccer player is really good, she's super talented, they'll be like, oh, she's so hot. Body image is a very touchy subject in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because you have to weigh yourself, and I hate the scale. Um, oftentimes, especially when you're very muscular, you don't look what your weight is. I'm about like 170 and I fight guys that are like 250 and I've like submitted them. And I don't say that to like brag or anything like that. I just, to show the beauty of the sport. Um, so very often I weigh just as much as the guys training here, sometimes even more. And they're like, no way. Like I thought you were so much less than that. I'm proud of the body that I have, but at the same time, it's a touchy subject because if I have to cut weight, it's a struggle. And then I look at the scale and I may look a lot leaner and like more defined and I'll feel super confident about my body, but the scale says otherwise. In jiu-jitsu, you do have to worry about a number because before you fight, you have to step on that scale and if it doesn't say that number, then you're disqualified. I definitely do think that I need to take an extra step to be recognized as a woman in this sport. It is very male dominated. I I feel like I wasn't really respected right off the bat. They did kind of look at me like, oh, a girly girl princess. There were people that teased me growing up, like, oh, she's a boy or she's such a dyke or a lesbian or anything like that. But I have pretty thick skin, so I let it go past me. I didn't, I feel like, fully gain the respect of all the guys until I started competing. And I'll never forget um, my first New York Open. So I fought a girl from Germany and a girl from Canada and they were much bigger than me and I beat them both. And then I remember my professor saying like, this is gonna be like a game changer for you cause like I was more recognized at tournaments now. And when I came back to the gym and I was in training and the guys found out that I won such a big tournament, I think I definitely gained their respect and now like they don't like take me like lightly. I wish every woman could try jiu-jitsu, I genuinely do.